Standard 7, Subject Maths Chapter 4, Angles and Pairs of Angles Practice Set 16 Today, let us understand what are complementary angles. For that, let us do a small assignment here. Look at the following figure. Draw angle PQR, a right angle. Take any point S in its interior. Draw ray QS. Add the measures of the angle PQS and angle SQR. What will be the sum of their measures? So here the sum of their measures will be 90 degree. No matter where you take point S, when you draw ray QS in the interior of angle PQR, which is 90 degree, we get two angles formed here. And when you add those two angles, the sum will also be 90 degree. So, if the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degree, they are known as complementary angles. Your angle PQS and angle SQR are mutually complementary angles. Okay, now observe the angles in the figure and enter the proper number in the empty box. You can see this activity in textbook on page number 26. We have two angles here. Let's see their measures. First, measure angle ABC is equal to right, 40 degree. You can enter it in your textbook. Measure angle PQR is equal to 50 degree. Now, measure angle ABC plus measure angle PQR is equal to 40 plus 50 is equal to 90 degree. So, you have your solution that angle ABC is 40 degree, angle PQR measure is 50 degree and when you add them, you get their answer addition as 90 degree. So, the sum of the measures of angle ABC and angle PQR is 90 degree. Therefore, what type of angles do they form? Right, they are complementary angles. So, two angles whose sum, whose addition is 90 degree are called as complementary angles. The sum of the measures of angle ABC and angle PQR is 90 degree. Therefore, they are complementary angles. Let's have a look at an example. How you are going to solve your sums. Find the measure of the complement of an angle of measure 70 degree. That means one angle we have 70 degree. Other angle we have to assume as X. And we know that 70 plus X will give us 90 degree. Right? So let's start the sum. Let the measure of the complementary angle be X. Whenever you have to find the other complementary angle, your first statement will be, let the measure of the complementary angle be X. Now we will form the equation. 70, that is the first angle, plus X, which we have to find out, is equal to 90. Since they are complementary angles, the addition will be equal to 90. Now let's solve this equation. We want to know the value of x. So which number do you see with x on the left hand side? 70. So we will subtract 70 on both the sides. Left hand side minus 70. Right hand side minus 70. So that the 70 gets eliminated. So our equation therefore will be 70 plus x minus 70 is equal to 90 minus 70. What we have done here? We have just subtracted 70 on both the sides. Therefore, now 70 minus 70 
0. So x is only left. x is equal to 90 minus 70 which is equal to 20. So your final answer. The measure of the complement of an angle of measure 70 degree is 20 degree. So this was just an example. Now we will start our practice set number 16. Question 1. The measures of some angles are given below. Write the measures of their complementary angles. We have the measures of some angles below and now we have to find the complementary angle. You say that we can even find orally. 90 minus 40 will give us the complementary angle. Yes. But in maths we need to follow some steps. So let's see how these sums can be done using mathematical steps. First, 40 degree angle is given and we have to find its complementary. So, the complementary angle of 40 degree. Solution, as I mentioned in the example, we will take, let the measure of the complementary angle be x degree. Therefore, let's form the equation. 40 plus x is equal to 90. Now we want to eliminate 40 which is with x. So minus 40 on both the sides. So 40 plus x minus 40 is equal to 90 minus 40. Subtracting 40 from both sides. You can write this in bracket as what step you are doing here. Therefore x is equal to, we got the answer, 50. 90 minus 40 is 50. Therefore the measure of the complement of an angle of major 40 degree is 50 degree. Second sum, 63 degree. Steps, let the measure of the complementary angle be x degree. Therefore, 63 plus x is equal to 90. Therefore, 63 plus x minus 63 is equal to 90 minus 63. Reason, subtracting 63 from both sides. Therefore, x is equal to 27. 90 minus 63 gives you 27. Therefore, the measure of the complement of an angle of major 63 degree is 27 degree. Third sum, 45 degree. The same steps we are going to follow. So, first step. Let the measure of the complementary angle be x degree. Therefore, 45 plus x is equal to 90. Therefore, 45 plus x minus 45 is equal to 90 minus 45. What we are doing here? Subtracting 45 from both sides. Therefore, x is equal to 45. Therefore, the measure of the complement of an angle of major 45 degree is 45 degree. 45 plus 45 gives you 90. Sum number 4, 55 degree. Let the measure of the complementary angle be x degree. Therefore, 55 plus x equals to 90. Therefore, 55 plus x minus 55 is equal to 90 minus 55. What we are doing here? Subtracting 55 from both sides. Therefore, x is equal to 35. Therefore, the measure of the complement of an angle of major 55 degree is 35 degree. Fifth sum, 20 degree. Let the major of the complementary angle be x degree. Therefore, 20 plus x equals to 90. Now we will subtract 20 from both sides. So therefore 20 plus x minus 20 is equal to 90 minus 20. Therefore x is equal to 70. Therefore the measure of the complement of an angle of major 20 degree is 70 degree. So quite simple. More or less the steps are same. Only you have to subtract the given angle left hand side and right hand side in the third step. Okay, sixth sum, 90 degree. 
when one angle is 90 degree and you want to find its complementary angle, it will be 0 degree because the sum should be 90. So 90 plus 0 equals 90. So let's see the steps. Let the measure of the complementary angle be x degree. Therefore, 90 plus x equals 90. Subtracting 90 from both sides, what do we get? Therefore, 90 plus x minus 90 is equal to 90 minus 90. What we have done here? Subtracting 90 from both sides. Therefore, x is equal to 0. Therefore, the measure of the complement of an angle of measure 90 degree is 0 degree. So, if I give you a 0 degree angle and ask you to find its complementary angle, yes, its measure will be 90 degree because 0 plus 90 equals 90. So, the complementary of 90 will be 0, complementary of 0 will be 90. Yes, let's go to question number 7 x degree. So same steps but instead of let the measure of the complementary, uh, complementary angle be x we will take it as a degree now because we have to find for x degree. So first step let the measure of the complementary angle be a degree. Therefore x is a question so x plus a equals 90. Same equation only x is in the question now. So x plus a is equal to 90 degree. The complementary angle which we are finding uh, is a. Therefore, now we want to find the complementary angle a what it is. So, we will have to eliminate x. So, x plus a minus x is equal to 90 minus x. Reason, subtracting x from both the sides. Therefore, A is equal to 90 minus X. X minus X got eliminated from left side. Only A is left. A is equal to 90 minus X, which we cannot solve further. So, therefore, the measure of the complement of an angle of measure X degree is 90 minus X. So, you have, I hope you have followed this. If I ask you for Y degree and its complement, it will be 90 minus y. Any alphabet you take or any number you take. Okay. It will be 90 minus that given number. So the complement of an angle of any major is equal to 90 minus that given number or alphabet. Okay. So we have finished solving practice set 16 question number 1. Let's see question number Two. Y minus 20 degree in bracket and Y plus 30 in bracket are the measures of complementary angles. Find the measure of each angle. Now we want to know what is Y minus 20 and Y plus 30. For that we will have to first find the value of Y. How can we do that? Think about it. Yes, we have the equation that the sum of the measures of two angles is, of com two complementary angles is 90 degree. So, we will use the same thing here. Y minus 20 plus Y plus 30 equals 90 degree. Let's see what do we get it as a solution. Y minus 20 and Y plus 30 degree are the measures of complementary angles. Therefore, y minus 20 plus y plus 30 equals to 90. This is our equation here and we are going to open the brackets and solve it. So we take y first together. So y plus y plus 30 since 30 has a positive sign. So plus 30, 20 is negative. So minus 20 equals 90. We have only arranged the alphabets together and numbers together in the next step. Therefore, y plus y gives us 2y plus 30 minus 20 gives us 10. So, 2y plus 10 is equal to 90. Therefore, 2y is equal to 90 minus 10 plus 10 when it goes to right hand side it becomes minus 10. So, now we solve it. Therefore, 2y is equal to 80. 
90 minus 10 gives you 80. Now we want to know the value of y, not 2y. So 2 is multiplied here on the left hand side. When we shift it to right hand side, multiplication becomes division. Just like addition becomes subtraction, multiplication becomes division. So therefore, y is equal to 80 upon 2. 2 was multiplied, it has become division on the right hand side. Therefore, y is equal to 40. Measure of first angle is equal to y minus 20, which is equal to, now substitute the value of y. 40 minus 20 is equal to 20 degree. So, we got the measure of first angle as 20 degree. Measure of second angle is equal to y plus 30, which is equal to, y was how much? We got it as 40. So, 40 plus 30 equals to 70 degree. Therefore, the measure of two angles is 20 degree and 70 degree. And check, when you add them, you get 90 degree. Which tells us that yes, these are our complementary angles. So, this way we have solved question number 2. I hope you have understood the concept of complementary angles. Do practice more sums. Stay learning. Keep safe. And thank you.